Welcome to the Intuitive Empress channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. Happy Memorial Day. This is a general message for all signs, so take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting on this meal on today, don't forget to eat the meat and don't chew on the bones. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you like the way I deliver this message, if you like my vibe, my energy, all right. For everyone, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As you know, donations and personal readings, there are links in the description for those things. So let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God and Father God, we ask that you will have your way in this reading. Give us clear messages for the community. We rebuke any negative energy, any demonic forces, anything that will come to distract, kill, steal, or destroy. We rebuke every word, curse, be condemned, hex, vex, or hoodoo, voodoo. We've sent back to the sender. All right. We have three cards here stuck together. Okay. This is interesting and this is new. So we have Cancer, Taurus, and Leo in the distant horizons. All right, so this situation is going to be for Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, South Node, North Node. Okay. Or they're involved in this. This is an all size read, but these signs are specifically attached to this, okay? Hmm. We do ask for your heavenly angels <clears throat> to come through. All right. All right, so we have from this deck, someone who is North African, an Asian man or woman, and someone who is Puerto Rican that could also be in this reading. Okay, could be those three signs. All right, we have the only one at your money, and the steps of a good person are ordered by the Most High, and he delights in his or her way. Psalms 23, I'm sorry, Psalms 37 and 21. Hmm. So we have a lot going on here. We're just trying to order these things around. All right. So let's get into this. Um, hmm. I feel like the distant horizon is either something coming into you or something um, that has already passed you by and went to the horizon. Um, so, for some of you, you could be in the midst of these people with these different nationalities. does not have to be, but somebody wanted you just for your money, but your steps are ordered by the Lord, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing, mama. That's the song that I hear. Don't worry about a thing. These people who tried to weigh you down or anchor you down. Why? Because you are glowing up. You're looking better. You're getting the bag, getting to the bag, getting your finances together, radiating peace. You are ascending to another level in God. Went on your spiritual awakening. And these people are triggered because you have balance and justice coming in your life could possibly be a Libra. You could be a Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, signs, south node and north node. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? These messages are coming out fast. Ooh, okay. So we have the first card out. Uh, there's a karmic femme, someone that's toxic, a soul snatcher. Maybe this person wanted to steal your gifts or swap out lives from you. Now they are paranoid. Yes, they are. 
Now they are paranoid because of the things that they have done. I wouldn't be surprised if the evil eye or wishing bad on you or whatever came out. This person wanted your money. This person is paranoid because they knew that they were the other woman and now justice is coming. This third party, this mistress, this karmic connection who was all in their ego, all right? Now their ego is bruised, all right? Their arrogance isn't happening anymore because it has been revealed that you were dealing with a twin flame. Hmm. Mirrored souls. The spiritual contract. The 5D connection. This is someone who has been destined uh, for you since before you were born. A match made by the Most High God. Okay? Because you have a purpose with this person. Hmm. Yeah, this person got your person caught up in... Um, lust and a lustful way of thinking again not taking the responsibility off of them because we are all responsible for the decisions we make even when temptation comes god provides a way of escape and that is scripture if you search out a bible way of escape that scripture will come up because a lot of times people say oh this person didn't know they were doing because they were under witchcraft and an illusion yeah, they may be under strong delusion and illusion now, but God was giving them a way of escape prior to this. Now this person is in panic, this other woman, because that's who's coming out. Because they know in divine timing, uh, things are going to get worse for them. Or get bad for them if it hasn't come already. Because they knew that they were dealing with a prophetess being the divine feminine this is a divine feminine card this is the person that's going on the glow up we started out with you and your ascension and then we went on to the karmic being triggered um but there was justice and balance coming in with this karmic feminine who's now paranoid this person who was the other woman and they knew they were the other woman all right this is somebody who was a clout chaser say or do anything for attention in the gram they took advantage of the fact that the person that you were with was inconsistent and non-committal. Yeah, twin flames can be inconsistent and non-committal if they haven't done the work. We have an Aquarius here. We also have a Capricorn coming up that may have been uh, heavily in this situation or that could be your sign. Hmm. This person is very angry um they're under pressure from the most high and the heavenly angels that are assigned to you remember because the steps of a good person are ordered by the lord and he delighted in his way this person is angry because their path has been blocked access denied this is someone who has done this over and over and over again hmm wow we also have Pisces here, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, South Node or North Node, somewhere in their chart. <coughs> this person was trying to manifest opportunities through trickery and manipulation. Wow. All right, so let's get a little bit more um, in this. have to move this over here and I do apologize I, I still am getting over whatever it is that I had so you might hear me cough a little bit hmm, so somebody is going to call you could be the person you were with it could be this karmic this is going to be happening very soon they're going to be revealing the secrets of the love affair that they had with you. Hmm. It's funny because this person, this divine feminine, because like I said, the divine masculine has not come out here. That they were inspired by you in your life. But the response that they had to that is to destroy your life or use you for money. Or it could be <clears throat> that... Um, 
your person used you for money in spite being inspired by this karmic feminine so they can get the commitment to offer and take things to the next level but i found that their relationship is completely done your person has moved on why because they were in a spirit of lust this person was fun in the beginning but guess what now they found a new flavor of the month or the year or the week take it as it resonates i feel like this person wanted to get away from this person they may have even went on a vacation with the new sweet thing. They may have run away together. They might have run away and gotten married. See, because when you do spells and stuff like that, um, it doesn't work out the way you think it does. Okay? Um, this person did their best to escape from this person, blocking them, pushing them away, and hiding Okay, because this was a forbidden love affair. They gave in to their pleasure with this person and they did the same with this new person. So I feel like this person is mad at you because they feel like maybe you did something wrong or you did black magic against them. But this was just their karma coming back to them. Hmm. Hmm. What I'm getting also is that you're glowing up. You did the things that you were supposed to do. And this is not for everybody, but it's somebody. For some of these people, uh, the person you were dealing with, while they were with this karmic energy, they found their twin flame. It may not have been you. This is what I'm getting. And this this person realized that they were in lust with this other woman and so now they're panicked because they see their opportunity to be in the limelight taken away they have been blocked from you and this person so this person could move on and out of this forbidden love affair to go on to their purpose so your person could have ascended as well um, they could be seeing you glowing up. They could be seeing your person glowing up and they're stuck. Hmm. For some of you, you may have somebody unexpectedly pop up on you. Like I said, this phone call possibly where this pop up could be done by this karmic feminine trying to get you on their side because this person left. Okay. Oh, he left both of us. Or she left both of us. Or this could be your person coming back. And the reason why I say that is because the next card is jealousy. So this person, if they pop up on you, this karmic energy, or if they call you and reach out, is out of jealousy because uh, the person that they did all of this stuff for, the person that you were with, and then they ultimately were with, left for their divine counterpart. We have their emotions are like waves crashing in. They're unpredictable. Um, you know, they're on a roller coaster ride, um, having good and bad feelings rushing over them. Wow. All right. So we have huh. this person, this karmic energy wants to reconcile with your person or if this other woman was somebody you know now that things didn't work out they might want to reconcile with you trying to get a second chance at that friendship trying to make it work with you or this could be your person <clears throat> because now they realize that you were their twin flame the whole time all right this person um may be confessing to you that they were partying having risky behaviors, why their emotions were so extreme, harsh, and cut off, or you might harshly cut this person off because you may pick up in your intuition and discernment that this person has not changed. Mm. 
this is the person that's observing you be it your person or this other person this karmic energy left you shattered broken and crushed or they thought that they would um your heart was broken um but now you are single for many of you and ready to mingle go back out maybe you even found your twin flame your true twin flame and this person is upset that you were able to move on without them. This person is going to be um, begging to come back, trying to work it out. Um, negotiating, giving terms to the contract, the new spiritual contract they want to form with you. This is either the karmic energy because the karmic energy is someone who was a friend or a family member of yours long term. Wow. Huh. Or this could be your person, but you have faith. You've been wishing, hoping, and praying that you would uh, be healed, that God would send someone else for you. For some of you. And for others of you, this karmic or your person, or both of them, take it as it resonates, maybe wishing and hoping and praying, praying that you accept these terms. These people that were full of drama and creating problems in your life are now obsessing over you, clinging to you, having anxiety, because they don't think you're going to take them back into your life. And for many of you, you are not. Hmm. Yeah. This is someone who took uh, risky challenges, unprotected sex, having um, STDs, STIs, um, and just overall making unsafe decisions. All right? That could be the karmic, your person, or both. These people are still toxic, unhealthy, and delusioned for those who are still in the situation. Like I said, for some of you, uh, your person or the person you, and I'm not going to say your person because it's not your person anymore, but this person that you were with found their twin flame, okay? This person caused you pain and you're guarded and apprehensive. No matter what side of the coin is on, whether this was the friend as a karmic or this person that you were dealing with. While they were out dating on dating sites and stuff like that, you could have had children with this person. Um, again, we have lust. This overall was about lust and it has been illuminated when in the past you could have been blind to this or your person could have been blind to the lust that they were dealing with. And I feel like no matter who, what the situation is, um, this is a situation where you and or your person is not looking back from. So if your person found their twin flame, they're not looking back to this other person because they know this is it. All right. If this is your person coming back with all of these issues after being with this karmic energy, you're not looking back. You're glowing up. You could have been seeing signs and symbolisms about your twin flame again we have twin flame here so again it could be that your person found their twin flame and your twin flame is on their way to you meanwhile this karmic energy is still wearing a mask doing witchcraft <laughs> while you and your person or and or your person is now feeling complete smiling so happy this side piece is still stuck they're not moving on. But in time, <laughs> their ego is going to leave them trapped and stuck. They're going to be the subject of gossip because they didn't make the right choice when God was dealing with them. And all they're going to be left with is memories because they made the wrong decision. So they are lost. Wow. Wow. And again, this could be your person as well because everybody's situation is different and God gave me different scenarios. So for some of you, 
in time your person if they are not getting themselves together they're you're not the situation where they found their twin flame and they ascended and their eyes was open to the fact that they were all in lust then they are going to be the ones that are lost the ones that that doesn't apply for and are coming back for another round for others of you they found their twin flame even though you went through this cycle with this person, um, you learned your lessons and you moved on, all right? But what I'm showing is the person who did not learn their lesson was this karmic feminine energy. And no matter what the scenario, they're going to end up um, getting karma. All right, so we're going to wrap this message up because that's pretty clear and cut and dry. Wow. wow okay I'm gonna take this because I have a lot coming out all right and the first thing was that life is not about is about who you are now and who you are becoming so don't let people hold you to the past okay because somebody like I said somebody's coming and like I said for some of you this karmic feminine was a friend maybe even a best friend okay and they're going to try to come with nostalgia and be like and when you turn them down well you you used to do this yeah i used to i'm not that person no more so we we have nothing in common this could be an aquarius or you could be an aquarius aquarius came up um a couple times you're manifesting what you want into your life you're prospering in a secret or you should be prospering in secret because, again, we had the people that was there only for your money. I feel like many of you are quick to cut off people who are petty, who have not learned their lessons. Um, this person who is unstable in life is in disarray. You're moving away from that. Okay. Let me just reorder this. You're moving away from that. And sometimes you have people stuck in the past. Like you have people who are in their 30s that still act like they're in their 20s. You have people in their 40s who still act like they're in their 20s and 30s. Um, and, you know, as you even go up in age 50, you still act like they're in their 20s, 30s, uh, 40s. Life is about growth. Okay? You're finding a new tribe, a new spiritual tribe, or... Maybe um, you had to move away from family, friends, and everything like that, and you're building a new friend group that matches your energy. Um, God is saying, be, be slow to anger, all right? Because being slow to anger, anger is better than being strong. With self-control, you can take a city, and I feel like that that is the issue either with your person or this karmic or birth. They don't know how to control their emotions, their anger. And so they cannot see anything through to the end or overcome the strong obstacles because they are so blinded by their wrath. They can't even see the right way to go or hear God's voice, okay? And God says he's working on your behalf. He has chosen to co-create with you. And he says, allow my light to infuse your dreams, transforming them into reality, all right? These people in your life that you have moved on from because you've matured past that state need to get a grip on their life. Could possibly be a fire sign. Um, and we do have um, uh, Leo here that came up. I believe we might have had Aries come up too. Um, it says someone is confused by your success. This person is confused by your successes. They threw every spiritual thing they had in their arsenal at you. They thought that you were going to crumble up. Hmm. Let me adjust this. I wonder why I can't see the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Someone felt like you owed them and they tried to destroy you. You don't owe anybody anything. doesn't matter what they did for you. You don't owe them anything. And when God tells you it's time to move on, it's time to move on. Point blank, period. 
So he's telling you to stay away from drama-filled people. And that you are gaining success from the lessons that you learned. And even from your failures. The lessons you learned from successes and the failures. All right. For some of you, you could still be holding on to this toxic relationship because everybody's at different situations, knowing that this person is with karmic energy. But God is saying that you need to move on. For others of you, this is either your ex or this is either your ex holding on to this karmic energy or this could be the karmic energy holding on to your person after they left. Faith is needed in this situation because for some of you, you're going through this. Some of you, you're coming out. Some of you, you're beginning to go into this cycle. All right. So the Most High will give you the rest when you are weary and burdened if you come to him with it. So for some of you, you may be feeling tired. You may be feeling burdened. And he's just saying, come to him with it. Peace and favor is on your life. All right. Abundance is coming to you. You are not trapped by the situation and circumstance. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I apologize. Something went down the wrong pipe. You are protected. Meanwhile, this person is consumed by all that is in the world, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, which lust came out many, many times. Hmm. Yeah, this person, when they come to you, they're not going to be saying what they really feel about you. Um, if Especially if it's the karmic, they're going to say they love you so much, but they can't stand you. Okay. Um, for others of you, um, if, if it's your person, they're not going to be saying that they're there for just for the money. They're going to just say how wonderful you are. Spirit is saying, let happiness in your life. Get that bag because he's going to give you what you need to get that bag. Um, he wants you to know that people are talking smack behind your back. And again, it could be the karmic energy. Um, the person that you were with, depending on the situation. That's why in general readings, I say take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, use your discernment, pray, and talk to the Most High for seeking out answers. Okay, and that's with anybody's channel, not just mine. Okay, I hope you like this message so far. Yeah, it says you can enjoy your blessings now. Let your haters hate. You could be born in a month of April, could be an Aries or a Taurus. We do have Taurus out here, so strong Taurus. And we have, you are a wise person. You honor the truth of things. You can restore friendships by being a mediator and hearing both sides of the story. Okay? This could be your gift. This could be what they were trying to hinder you from being or what I would say is the demonic forces that are or entities that were attached to them were trying to hinder you from your ascension and doing what you were supposed to do because we are in a spiritual fight and sometimes we are always looking in a natural of, of things and what people are doing um, to us. It doesn't mean you're a fool and you stay around because like you said, <laughs> leave those drama filled people where they are. Okay, because again, we all have a choice. But at the end of the day, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but of principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places, which are demonic entities. So keep that in mind in your walk while you're seeking the most high and praying for guidance. Remember not to necessarily focus on an individual person or individual persons, but focusing on those spiritual um entities that are coming to stop you from your purpose in life okay that is the message i have for you please do like this video if you made it this far in the video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber i will see you next time Bye bye